Hey, 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 Heather McKay here. I'm just giving you a quick uh, overview of my review of Nation's Photo Labs albums. And then I'm just going to show you four different covers just to give you an idea of what they look like. So you have uh, an educated opinion when you're ordering. So Nation's Photo Lab is a very, very, very inexpensive photo lab. Um, and actually customers can order from there and you can order from there. They don't, they do um, they have their pricing on the website. So you really just want to be careful if you're going to use them. I don't really recommend them as a general rule, but I'm going to go into why in this video. So if it's your first time here, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you want to learn more about selling albums, because that's my jam. I'm all about offering products to clients, and that's what I help with on this channel. So anyway, without further ado, um, there's a couple different types here that I'm going to show you, and I just really want to point out what to look for. So this one is an 11 by 14. It's a, a nice rounded spine, which I like, but I don't love the construction. It's not really well made. Um, and that gets back to the pricing. So this is why it's so much cheaper than everybody else. I mean, this is not the way um, a book should be cornered. Um, and then it's, I barely ever use this sample and it's um, wearing out on the corners. So, you know, to me, this is not a true heirloom quality when it's fallen apart pretty quickly. Um, what I like about this book, uh, which, you know, lots of companies do this kind of stuff, is thick pages. So this is the thick pages. So what it is is a photographic print and a board and then another photographic print. So it's a nice rigid, it's kind of, kind of the size of like a kid's book. Um, and they do do a decent job with this gutter. So if you've watched other videos on my channel, you'll know that I'm always talking about what goes on in the gutter. Not only is it cutting through somebody, but also you'll see with a photographic print, it, when you bend it, it's this discoloration and it gets worse over time. It usually will end up being like a pink stripe by the time it's over. Um, but what I, they do here is they score it twice, which actually does help with that. Um, and then I do like that it lays flat. So that's good. I just don't love the construction, but I do like this um, more, it's called a more printed um, fabric. It's like a, a nice like silk kind of a fabric. It looks high end. Um, but like I said, you know, the construction is just really not that great. And then this is a nice heavy burly book and it's really put a lot of pressure on the spine. So I don't necessarily recommend um, doing a nice a heavy book an expensive book like this i would use a different company for a book like this so um but you know as parent albums they're all right um if you're just looking for samples to get started you know it's a very inexpensive option and it's going to be similar enough to what your client gets that it'll be fine as a sample um i can you know if you look at my other videos on the channel you'll see uh different books photographic quality books like that and gives you an idea. So this one is a maroon cover. I always put McKay's photography on the cover. I do not put the name and date of the couple because that shows how dated your work is. Boom, boom, boom. Um, if you're interested on in exactly how I lay out a wedding album, I do have a video on my channel uh, about how I pick pictures and how I lay it out and how I tell a story. Um, and then also the other thing I do with sample albums, which I share on the channel and also in my courses and stuff is um, I usually make a sample of somebody that I know I'll keep in touch with, like a friend, uh, my own travel photos, things like that. Like this couple, I'll, I'll give them this book and they can give it to one of their parents for Christmas or something like that. So that's a maroon cover. This one is a blue cover. So same thing. It's a, nice, it's a thick book, which puts a lot of pressure on the spine. Um, so another drawback to Nation's Photo Lab is you'll see that the prints are real wavy. Um, it really shouldn't look that way. It shouldn't have any wave at all in the prints. So that's how you know it's a lower quality book. But, you know, for this, um, this gig was uh, a legacy event. And, um, you know, it's fine for something like this. It's affordable uh, to, to order. This one has a lot of pages and a lot of people and a lot of photos in it. So it actually cost them quite a bit because um, it was a lot of work to, to put this together. But anyway, gives you kind of an idea. And this is the, their like blue cover, which is a re it's actually really nice blue leather. I like that one a lot. Uh, this one is a chocolate brown leather. Um, and this one, like they did a little bit better job putting this book together, but it really feels kind of loose and weak. Um, this one is like a black linen interior. So just kind of gives you an idea, but again, a little, a little bit of a wave to the pages, which I don't love. 
And this one is an eight by 12, I think. And then this is a square, this is the cappuccino cover, which I've shown on my um, channel in a different video before. This is my brother's wedding. So again, I like making sample albums, especially when I'm testing out a company. I always make a sample out of my own photos somehow. Because, you know, by the time you're selling a wedding album, your clients actually, you've already photographed their event. <laughs> so you don't really need too many of your own work. Uh, I mean, this is my work, but it's my brother's wedding. So it's fine that it like I'm in the photos and stuff. It's really just to show construction. And, and I like having cover sample options versus the little swatches, just so clients can see and really decide which cover they like the best. So anyway, that's it. That's what my review, this is a 12 by 12. This is an eight by 12. This is a 10 by 10. And then this one's an 11 by 14. And those are all nation's photo labs. Uh, albums and like I said they're not the top of the line which is why uh, they're so inexpensive you know they some of them are just $99 which is insanely cheap um, but you definitely see it in the finishing touches and it's less of an heirloom so like I said it's okay I guess for like parent albums or you know newborn baby or boudoir or something like that it'll be fine but for a wedding album I, I wouldn't recommend it and that's my review of Nation's Photo Lab. Leave a comment if you have uh, any questions about them. I've used them for USB drives and other things. Um, and then if you have any specific album related questions, leave me a comment and I will answer them on the channel. All right, thanks for watching, bye.